Appomattox County was torn apart by a deadly EF3 tornado three months ago today. Some homes were spared, but some people lost nearly everything. The destruction touched everyone in the community. Yeah, it sure did. Uh, now we are going to return to Appomattox County and WSLS 10 Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanwich and our very own Lindsay Ward are there now. We want to tell you how the community is coping and uh, and also they're there to witness the progress that's been made rebuilding from the rubble. So Jeff, we'll start with you. Uh, you were there just after the tornado mm -hmm. hit. Right. Yeah, John. And, you know, so much progress has been made, but I will remind you three months ago today, I was standing right here and this site that you're looking at, I'm going to get out of the way here, has not changed much in the last three months at all. You walk into the debris here and you still see children's books. You see dolls that once belonged to a little girl. You see blankets, you see pillows, you see kitchen utensils. So while there has been rebuilding, there are still some areas that have been fairly untouched since the tornado, the EF3 tornado of three months ago. It bears repetition that when I came on site here three months ago, I have family who lived in Kansas for many years and I remember coming into Evergreen and seeing the damage firsthand and saying, my gosh, uh, am I in Kansas again? I mean, this is not something you see here in Virginia. As a general rule, the tornadoes that we get here are EF0s, EF1s. This was an EF3 tornado that did so much damage and destruction here. But uh, going back three months ago, guys, the attitude just less than 48 hours after the tornado hit was one of positive energy. Nobody said anything about a woe is me attitude. Everybody here was so kind and everybody here was so positive and that attitude continues three months later. The community has come a long way since that dreadful day three months ago. Several local organizations joined the recovery efforts in the days following February's deadly tornadoes. Of course, one of those organizations, and we talk about them a lot, the Danville Crisis Response Team called God's Pit Crew. And that nonprofit not only helped out in Appomattox, but also over in Tappahannock. And that's where, if you remember, the National Weather Service says that an EF3 tornado cut a 28-mile path with speeds up to 140 miles an hour. So this was just a big job for these emergency response teams. WSLS 10's Lindsay Ward is live right now. She's in Appomattox County with the God's Pit Crew founder, Randy Johnson. Lindsay? Hey, John, we're going to get to Randy Johnson here in just a second, but I'm going to step out of the way and show you that we have a lot of supporters here from the town of Appomattox, and they are here to say hi, to say thank you for all of the community support, and they're also here to celebrate the big announcement that's coming up at 6 o'clock, so you're going to have to stick around for that. But in the meantime, I'm joined with uh, God's Pit Crew founder, Randy Johnson. So you guys were here the day after. You respond to disasters all over this country, but this is in your own backyard, and, and Tappahannock as well. Yeah. It is, and this has meant a lot of, to us to try to be here as quickly as we could and help. We had crews in South Carolina still working the floods that happened last fall and had people spread pretty thin, but we knew you know, this, is, this is right at home. We had to be here, so uh, we had people here the day after. Absolutely. So what is it that your crew saw when they were here and just realized we really have to be here, we have to help, we have to get product on the ground? Yeah, just utter devastation here. You know, the, the, all the homes that were destroyed, the people's lives that were destroyed. Um, we see it over and over again. Kind of hits home though when it's this close to home. You know, it really, really hurts. And we knew that we had to try to get in here and do what we could to help, and also to try to help the other communities in Virginia that were affected in Tappahannock and Waverly as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Randy, for joining us. We're going to talk to Randy coming up at six o'clock. But we want to let you know the story doesn't end there. It doesn't just end with tornado devastation, and that's why you're going to want to stick around to hear about this uh, big surprise at six o'clock. For now, live in Evergreen, Lindsay Ward, WS. SLS 10. Helping to rebuild parts of Appomattox County, which were hit hardest by February's deadly tornado, is really a group effort. And local radio station Spirit FM joined those efforts in a number of ways. WSLS 10's Lindsay Ward is live in Appomattox County today, and she's got more on Spirit FM's role in helping to rebuild that community. Lindsay? 
with John. We're going to talk to Spirit FM in just a second. But the celebration continues here in Evergreen as we have little fans here holding up signs that say thank you. They just want to thank the community for its support um, since the February tornadoes. I'm joined with Spirit FM morning co-host Erica and Michael. So you were here on the ground in uh, excuse me on a Saturday after the storm. What'd you see? Well, I saw Joe's house. His home splintered into a million pieces. Flowers that were silk strewn everywhere. His daughter was going to get married on the property in April. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my goodness, everything for the wedding was destroyed. And I just love being a part of this Hope Project because every day Spirit FM builds hope into people's lives. And tonight we're going to announce a project that shows yeah. that we're going to show hope in a tangible way in the community. Absolutely. And we have partnered together before WSLS 10, God's Pit Crew, and Spirit FM with the Holiday Hall. And we know that whenever we come together, the three of us, we can make some awesome things happen, right, Michael? That's right. It's been a couple years. I cannot believe yeah. that. But just seeing the community come together and being such an impact, the hands and feet of Jesus is super cool. So we're so excited about the big announcement tonight. Absolutely. When we put all of our resources together, amazing things happen, and you're going to find out more about that coming up in just a few minutes. Live in Evergreen, Lindsay Ward, WSLS 10. Yeah, guys, it was three months ago today where an EF3 tornado roared through Evergreen here in Appomattox County. The recovery efforts are well underway. There's a huge difference between now and three months ago, Lindsay. Absolutely. Really, the story doesn't stop there. We just announced today that we are building a house, partnering with God's Pit Crew and Spirit FM to build a house for Miss Nancy mm -hmm. Harris. She not only lost her home, but she lost her husband in that storm. So she has been talking about how she just wants to come back home to Evergreen and to live her life because she's been gone since the storm and we are going to make that happen the three of us with your help and we're going to let you know more details about how you can help um, coming up tonight on WSLS 10 at 11 but really this is a big day it this is, is such an exciting day mm -hmm. here in Evergreen couldn't happen to a nicer lady Nancy Absolutely. Harris is just the sweetest thing in the world and tomorrow we're actually going to be in Halifax County stop 20 of the Virginia Proud Weather Tour to take us to the Virginia International Raceway guys